guys so today i have um another unboxing for you um another diamond art club unboxing and i'm sure you can see the image already and you can see that this is going to be more van gogh from me um so uh, my name is natalia welcome to my channel and if you don't know it yet i like van gogh and lately i've been exploring all van gogh diamond paintings well not all but but you know a lot of them um and one of the things i wanted to do on my channel is actually unbox the diamond art club version of the starry night by van gogh so that's the image in case you're not familiar with it uh, but it's pretty famous so you've probably seen it somewhere uh, or maybe you've worked on diamond painting because a lot of people when they first start they do starry night um but also i thought it would be a nice idea to kind of do a little comparison video as i unbox it with um with uh, sorry starry night from uh, diamond dots which I also have. I don't have a box anymore for that because I was moving houses and I was um, trying to squish things into other boxes. So I don't have the original box for Diamond Dots, but I have all the drills as they are originally packaged. Uh, so I didn't even take them out. Um, so we can also have a look at the canvas from Diamond Dots and compare what we have to what we have for um, Diamond Art Club. So let's get to it. So I'm just going to first of all put the diamond dots aside for now and we'll come back to it. Um, so I'm sure you've seen other unboxings from Diamond Art Club. Uh, so the boxes um, are very sturdy and they are wrapped up in this plastic film that I'm just going to take off with you. Um, so they're very, very well protected. Okay, so the plastic is off and then we're just going to see what's inside. So we can see straight away, it, it says here that it's 46 by 37 centimeters and it's a square painting. So it's not a very big one. So it's actually quite a small version of Starry Night uh, and I'm quite curious to see how, how well it is rendered. Um, you may have seen it on other channels already, but I wanted to do it anyway because um, because I've been you know, working on Van Gogh so much, I feel like this should be part of my channel as well. And I just really wanted to do this comparison first before I um, start working on the Starry Night from both companies. And then once I start working on them, I'd love to also do a comparison of like uh, the effect, out, you know, the finished diamond painting or, or just working on the diamond painting, how, how it felt, what was better, was it Diamond Art Club, was it Diamond Dots, or are they, go are they both equally good? Um, we're, we're going to find out very soon. So, um, so Diamond Art Club canvases come in another plastic uh, bag uh, just for protection. Uh, we also have a toolkit, um, it's a standard toolkit with um, well, it's a kind of higher quality standard toolkit. So we have a transparent tray. Uh, we have a, a squishy thing to put on your pen to make it a bit more comfortable. We have two pieces of wax, which are hard wax. And I think mine have melted a little bit, um, but <laughs> here we go. <laughs> so two pieces of hard wax. It's a nice wax. I, I use it and I quite like it. We have quite a few baggies. And then we also have, of course, we have a pen. And we have um, tweezers. So with square, quick, square square kits from them, you get tweezers. With the round kits, you're not going to get tweezers for Diamond Art Club, just so that you know. Um, and also you get a multiplacer. You see, I'm running out of hands here. Come on, come out. There we go. So this is our uh, four placer. So you can put that four placer at the other end of your pen here. And um, come on, camera. Well, I'm sure I'm sure you know what the multiplacer looks like. My camera doesn't like focusing today. Oh, there we go. So that's a four placer. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all back in the little bag. Okay, and so here you also get a sticker with the Starry Night on it, so you can put it on your box or in your diamond painting diary, or or you can make a cover minder from it. You can do all sorts of things with it, whatever you like. I don't really do anything with them at the moment, um, but I probably should should think of something. Okay, and so let's have a look at the canvas because that's what we're the most interested in. So I'm just going to take it out. So it's a very, very soft backing canvas. 
Um, it's very nice in touch and, and the really nice thing about Diamond Art Club canvases is that they flatten by themselves pretty much and even if you like I, I've never had any creases actually in them at all because they come in such a perfect condition but even if you like fold them over over the table or something they always flatten up so there's never an issue with that but anyway let's let's unroll it oh ah, that's so cool I love this one Right, let me try and roll it back just just so that we can see it a bit better. Uh, just so I'm just trying to roll it back backwards like this, and it's just to um, you know just to unroll it a little bit. Um, and you can do it with poured glue canvases. Um, you should not be doing that with any other type of adhesive like double sided adhesive uh, because that may damage the actual glue. But it's completely fine to do it with poured glue. Um, yeah, so look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's actually, that's amazing how well this is rendered for such a small size. Like, I'm really, really impressed because it is only 46 by 37 centimeters. Um, and, you know, I was a bit thinking, like, how can they, um, you know, render it on such a small size? How can it uh, look good? But it actually looks really, really nice. Uh, I'm actually really impressed with, like, you can see all the little houses here in the village uh, you can see um, the moon is really rendered really nicely actually like it's a very clear outline and, and I love all these lines around the moon as well so so um, I think this painting is very famous for all these swirly um, swirly things in the sky and you have these like every star has this like ring of light around it and I think that's that's um, captured really nicely in this rendering we have a total of 27 colors right and you have a legend on both sides of the painting so you have one here and one here so that's quite nice um we have so let me have a look so with every kit um from diamond art club you get this sticker thing so you have your legend here as stickers um but they, they're unstick very easily <laughs> so i'm just going to stick that back on so you have these stickers that you can uh, put on your containers hmm Actually, okay, that looks better in real life than in the camera. See, some of the symbols are dark on the dark background, which is a little unusual for them on Art Club. I'm usually used to them being very, very clear. But that arrow is actually quite dark on a dark background. Um, but you can still see it on the legend. I'm wondering how well you can see it on the canvas, especially that down here you have another different type of arrow also on a dark blue background that's a little bit surprising I've never ever had that kind of issue from Diamond Art Club their symbols are usually very very easy to see from far away and this is again another sticker you can put your start date and end date here and you can keep that in your diary or, or whatever um, so I'm just very curious to look at these symbols actually on the canvas uh, but I can already see that they're much worse on the legend that, than on the canvas itself because I can see them from far away <laughs> so that's always a good good start and uh, so I can see and I'm going to try and bring it a little closer to you so that you can see as well but these arrows that I was a little worried about they're just here see this it's uh, they're quite clear to read because the blue is actually not not that dark so they're actually very easy to read. And then we can see the other symbols. So these are also, I think, quite clear to read. Then if we move to another part of the canvas, uh, let me see. So you can probably, just as I can, uh, see these arrows from very far away. And here's the other arrow. Let me try and do that. So there. Like here, you can see the other arrow that I was a bit worried about, but it's completely different. Like um, you can see the shape very clearly, and and that's the the issue sometimes is when it's printed on the dark background, you just can't distinguish the shapes very well. Uh, and with things like uh, even if they're two different symbols, it can be hard to distinguish them if you're if they're both printed dark on a dark background. But these will be completely fine. I I don't think there will be any issues. Um, because I can honestly see the symbols even up here from far away, so so I'm very happy with that. And um, well, we should probably have a look at the um, drills and just see what colors we were getting. And um, do we have any ABs? Um, so in Diamond Art Club, any number below 150 will be an AB. 
So AB stands for Aurora Borealis, which is a type of diamond that has a bit of a coating on top. Um, it's a kind of a iridescent coating, uh, so it reflects, it sparkles, it reflects colors. Um, it's kind of rainbowy. It's got this like rainbowy, rainbowy glow around it. So it's really beautiful. So so um, if you've never worked with ABs, I'm sure you're gonna love them when when you first get them. It's very exciting when you first get ABs in your kit. So we have one, I think. So 125 is the number below. 150 um, which would suggest it's an AB so we're going to have a look at which AB that is um, so so the drills come packaged like this and you can see that um, there's a title of the painting on the drills themselves so you can store them separately from the canvas and you'll never um, have to worry about um, you know then like not knowing that which canvas these drills are for because you have that label here it's just really hard to fit them so nicely into the container. That's the only thing. Once you unbag them, uh, then it's really hard to put them back in. But I am going to do it, guys, because I love you. Um, so, as I said, we have 27 colors total. 27 colors. And we have... Um, we have a range of different colors. Of course, we get a lot of blues. So Diamond Art Club diamonds are ordered by weight, so I can feel that these are the heaviest, <laughs> definitely the heaviest. So probably the most, sorry, the most we have of these colors here, so the blues. So first of all, 803 is, um, is a very dark blue, and then we have all sorts of different type of blues, like 312, 823 is a very dark blue, it's nearly black blue. Um, and then, you know, 797 and 939, that's like the darkest, the darkest blue you get. Um, you can actually, sometimes it's hard to distinguish it from black, uh, in a, especially, it's easier in daylight, but if you work in the evening, it's actually hard to know if it's black or if it's 939. Yeah, and some other blues as well. So, of course, we, we knew there was going to be a lot of blue in this painting. Okay, right, so I can put them here. And then we have some smaller colors. So again, if we go, just kind of have a look through um, by order, by weight, we have 796, it's a very beautiful type of blue, it's, it's kind of, um, I don't know, I, I'm not very good at this, describing colors, but I'm sure you can see that it's kind of dark, nice dark blue. Um, and then some lighter blues, we have 820, which is another very popular type of blue. And then we have some free tan, so some black drills, um, and some smaller colors like some turquoise, uh, even some light greens, like 772, and some another light green. And then we have that's our AB. So if you look, you could probably see the sparkle because I've got my light on and it's actually when you have a light above AB or if you have like direct sunlight, uh, then you're going to see that beautiful sparkle on the coating. Um, so you can see that it sparkles super, super bright. And it's, it's not white, it's a kind of greenish white. I've never had this one actually. It's, it's yeah, it's a, like dirty greenish white. So that would be interesting. Um, and on the canvas, this has number one. Uh, so I can see again from far away that it's going to be mainly, and so in this big swirl here, we have quite a few of that one. We also have some sparkles throughout this long swirl that goes here. And then around the different smaller stars, like here and here and here, you can also see that there are ones, there are some here as well. So it will basically highlight uh, some of these stars and the swirls in the sky. So that should be beautiful. And then we just have some more smaller colors. Uh, we even have an orange that's going to be probably for the moon and some stars. Uh, a little bit of grey. Uh, some white and, and just some small greens and a little bit more of orange as well. Um, yeah, so that's what Diamond Art Club did for their canvas. Now, I'd be really, really curious to see how that compares to what Diamond Dots did. So I'm just going to, for the time being, just put the drills on the side. So I'm just going to put them next to me here. 
And now, first of all, let's have a look at the canvas from Diamond Dots. So it also comes in this plastic packaging, so kind of similar to Diamond Art Club, but it's got a very different feel to it, uh, first of all. So it's much more... Uh, this is a very tough fabric. It's not it's not soft on the back. It's it's um it's a very sturdy type of fabric, I would say. Um but also well to be honest, I haven't yet worked on any diamond dots pa painting. So so I'll have to try one and see how that, you know, how easy it is to work on this canvas, but I'd expect it would be a nice one because it's still it's not plastic. It's like a nice fabric. It's a sturdy fabric. Uh so it should still, you know, um be nice. Uh it should flatten very nicely, I think and, and um, it shouldn't really cause any issues as far as I can think of. Um, so again, I'm just going to roll it back straight away as I did with the Diamond Art Club just so that we don't have to worry about it folding over. Okay, so that's it. Rolled back. And now, let's see. Ta-da! Whoa, that's different, isn't it? <laughs> Whoa, whoa, that's completely different. Oh my goodness. Like even just looking at the printing on the canvas, it looks nothing like the Diamond Art Club version. I would say because I'm a big Van Gogh fan um, and because actually I have the sticker from Diamond Art Club, this is actually what the original artwork looks like. So I'm sure you can notice this is quite far in terms of colors or at least the colors that are printed on the canvas. I'm not sure if the drills are exactly the same, uh, but the colors that are printed um, are quite different from the original artwork. So I would say based on like the, the initial look, um, Diamond Art Club was trying to stay quite true to that original artwork, whilst Diamond Dots decided, well, we're going to try something different. We're going to do interpretation of that lovely painting by Van Gogh. So we can see that they decided to change up some colors, um, at least that's what I think. We'll have a look at the drills in a minute, but based on the canvas printing, it looks like they decided to change some colors. There's quite a bit of purple by the looks of it. There's also quite a bit of green. Uh, so in the original painting, see all that bottom here? It's quite dark and kind of gloomy, dark blue. You can, it's quite hard to see the outlines of individual buildings because they all kind of blend together a little bit. Whereas here, you can very clearly see every building, every rooftop, um, and you can see different shades of light, um, you can see the outlines very clearly, and also you can see some greens on the hills, and again, that was not there in the original artwork, that was all just dark blue. So they've just decided to do something different and to do a little interpretation on that lovely painting. But at the same time, they did stay true to... I think it still has the feel of the original painting and still, you know, all the shapes and the swirls in the sky and the moon. Um, all the, I think all the outlines are where they should be. Uh, so so the, the kind of the feel of it is still there. It's just I think it's a very different... Um, you know, color um, and, and just it's much more crisp than the original artwork, which was more kind of blending together. So if we just have another look at what Diamond Art Club did, we can kind of have a look at this side first and compare this side for both paintings. Well, can you see the difference? Uh, so definitely that's much closer to the original art. Uh, but also this this has a very artistic feel to it. It's, I actually really like it. Um, like I, I think you know it's very interesting, very exciting. I love the crisp outlines and I love the, that you get some some vibrant colors. I, I think that's lovely. Uh, so I'm really, really curious to see how that turns out when I work on it. And then just looking at this side of the painting, oh my goodness yeah there's like a slightly it feels a little bit like two different paintings in a way uh, but i also like the fact with starry night that there are so many different artistic interpretations of it uh, so if you look um there are so many people who have used that artwork in their art and they've transformed it into something else and that's also something that i could potentially i would want to potentially explore in the future as well because i've seen some lovely painting as well which took inspiration from Starry Night, which may not be true to the original, but are still very exciting. And it's it's really nice to see how that artwork, which was painted, I don't actually know the year, I'm, I'll find it out and I'll put it on the screen, and the year when this was originally painted. Um, but, you know, throughout the years, so many people have used this art in, in their art and then they kind of, you know, they helped it 
I don't know, become popular over the years and, and they, they just they just like reuse the ideas from Van Gogh. I think it's beautiful, uh, you know, that that art keeps growing and keeps developing over the years and that we never get bored uh, of it, um, you know, even in the 21st century. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, so I just wanted to compare the drills as well. In case you've never seen a Diamond Dots painting uh, and how the kit looks like, uh, you have the title of the painting right here, very bold on the bottom. And the size of this one is 51 by 41. So, well, 50.8 by 40.6. That's um, very specific <laughs> sizing from them. Usually companies are not that, you know, they don't give you um, to the millimeters, so it's, it's just the centimeters. Um, so let's say it's 51 by 41. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than uh, the Diamond Art Club, which was 46 by 37, but it's just a slight difference. And we have to take into account that this is a round painting. It's not a square, which Diamond Art Club was. This is a round painting. And rounds are bigger than squares. Um, therefore, even if this painting is slightly bigger, there's still probably going to be less drills on it overall uh, because of the difference in size uh, between rounds and squares. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind as well. Uh, so generally, if, you, if you're if um, you looking at the same painting and you, you're thinking whether to do it in rounds and squares, I would recommend uh, with rounds to go for a slightly bigger size than, than the squares because you're not going to get the same resolution if you go for the same size. Uh, but of course, it depends on the specific artwork that you want to work on. Okay, um, so there's a very big legend here. <laughs> there's a lot of, I don't know if it's just a very big legend uh, or if there is more colors. But then if we look at the numbers here, actually, I think there is more colors because that number on the side here, the A, A something, that's, that looks like it's like, it goes from A1 on top, it goes down to A38 in the bottom. So I think that tells us that there are 38 colors in this canvas. So that's 11 more than it was in the Diamond Art Club. Uh, but I also think they're probably going to be quite different colors. Uh, we'll, see, we'll see in a minute. Now, I don't know if there are any ABs, so we're going to also have to find out if there are any ABs in the Diamond Dots canvas. I know that they have, if they, they are there, they should have slightly different numbering, but I can't quite see them at the moment uh, so so we're going to have to look through the drills and just make sure that if they are any ABs that we find them okay so a little bit more colors um, let's have a look so, so okay so the drills again same as for Diamond Art Club they come bagged in this plastic wrap and there is a name here as well and the number that matches that number here at the bottom of the canvas so then like for me right now i was actually storing them separately from my canvas and i could very easily find out which drills were the starry night drills because i had this label on them so that's fantastic um so let's just open them up so the toolkit is similar. We don't get tweezers. Um, well, most of the, at that point, actually, when when the when this was first made, the, the painting, and when I bought it, uh, Diamond Dots only did rounds. Uh, but I think now they also start doing square paintings, which I would love to try one day. Um, and I don't know if they add tweezers to their square paintings. I have no idea. So so this is what you get for the round um, round Diamond Dots kit. So I'm, I'm not, I don't actually need to take it out. It's very easy to see what's in there. Uh, so we have this caddy of wax. Um, it may have a branding on, yeah, it has diamond dots branding on the other side. Um, we have a gray tray and we have a pink squishy uh, and just a standard pen. And there are no multiplacers in this one. Okay. Um, so if we look at the drills now, because that's the exciting bit. We should also have a look at the clarity of symbols after that as well. So one thing that you don't get with diamond dots is you don't get a separate legend uh, or stickers to put on your containers. So that, that's something to bear in mind. Um, 
that's probably that's why I forgot to look at the symbols but we can have a look in a minute uh, one thing that we can see straight away that is the, the legend itself is so big that you can see the symbols on the legend from very far away which is great because some companies make very small legends that are quite hard to see but this you will not struggle to see these symbols <laughs> at all uh, whether we can see them on the canvas I uh, will have a look in a minute for now let's find i'm just trying to find the first bag so i think these are actually ordered by by the number on the legend so they should be in the order of the legend itself um i think right okay i found it i found the start okay so we're just going to have a have a little look at what colors we get here i may flip it around so that you can see so so they don't use dmc numbers so we're not going to recognize what these numbers are in dmc so we just can have a look at the colors from the back and just see what kind of colors they are so you see we have some bright sparkly kind of beige beige white um some grays oh some lovely sparkly yellows they're very, you can see the sparkle on these diamonds from far away. They, they, I think Diamond Dots diamonds are very, very famous for being very sparkly. And I can see that they are sparkly just from the bags even. And they're also very evenly shaped. Um, I don't know if you can see, but they're, they look like they're very nice and even, uh, all very round. I can't see any trash. And we have these beautiful oranges and some kind of um, greeny, like light green turquoise kind of thing. And then if we continue, we have some more greens, some browns, green browns. That's, that's just dark gray, I think. Yeah, and some more browns. And I think, well, that looks like a 939 type of color. So that could just be 939. Uh, but again, they don't use the MC colors. So for them, it's 8157. I think there is a conversion chart somewhere on their website that you can use if you'd like to convert these colors into DMC, maybe for storage. Uh, I think you can find that information somewhere. I haven't looked yet, but I've heard that it exists. And then, oh, that's, here's the purple, because that's what I was wondering about. Is this really so purpley? But we can see already that the colors that we've been seeing so far are very different to what we are seeing for Diamond Art Club, right? So we had all these, like green green orange um a lot of green definitely so much brighter colors then we have all this purple and we didn't have any purple in diamond art club at all uh then we have some blues finally some blues yeah and some darker blues that looks a lot like 820 to me actually um and then again some bright greens and some brighter blues so i think there's just there's less of the dark blues than there would be in diamond art club it's much because there are so many other colors in there i uh, like greens and purples so, so there's generally less blue um and let's just have a look at the last tree so we have some more blue yellow and some browns and some dark dark browns and that's potentially that that looks like black looks like black which is 8001 okay and some yellow and purple so i can't see any ab's in this painting um which i'm a little surprised about because they usually have ab's in their painting but i couldn't find any ab's as far as i can see maybe i missed it but also on the legend i can't see any numbers that don't you know that are different i think that i can't remember now what it was but ab's had slightly different numbering and i can't see that on the legend so i don't think there are any ab's in this painting the last thing that i wanted to look at uh, is the clarity of the symbols um so you can see how different the colors are um to diamond art club and to the original artwork as well right so let's just have a oh sorry i know two guys <laughs> Um, so let's just have a close-up at the symbols so that you can see how clear they are. Pretty good, no? Let me, guys, let, let me know what you think about both of these canvases, actually. Um, you know, if you like them, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. To me, these symbols look very clear. 
and it's very exciting to see all the different colors here. This is really quite a different painting, quite a different interpretation, but I think it's a very exciting one. Uh, like, I'd be really, really curious uh, to work on this one and see how it turns out when I do. I've Obviously, I've seen other people work on it, uh, but it's always different when you see it in real life as well than when you just uh, see other people do it. Um, so this is definitely on my list of things to do. Um, yeah, so just looking at the darker areas, I think the, this these may be a little bit harder to work on. So when we look here, these symbols look a little blurry to me. And there's a lot of dark printing. And even though they are in lighter circles, like you, you have that lighter circle in the middle, they are quite blurry. Uh, so it's it can be a little bit straining for the eyes. And it's not the clearest printing I've seen. Uh, this actually reminds me of Dreamer Designs printing. So I love Dreamer Designs, but they have an issue like this, that um, the symbols are a little on the blurry side and a little bit hard to see sometimes. And it looks like it's a similar issue here, where the symbols are just, even though, like, I can see them, but it's, it's you know, it's more straining for the eyes and you have to look very close, um, especially when you, when you work, like, in the evening, when the light is not so great. Yeah, so it's just something to, like, maybe keep in mind. A light pad may help, so I may try working with a light pad on this and let you know if that helps as well. Um, yeah. So that's the only thing that I could say, the only issue that I found with this canvas, that I don't think this, I think this printing on the sky could be better, could be clearer. Okay, uh, but that's really it. Um, I may have forgotten something and I apologize if, if, <laughs> if I did, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, if you liked it, um, I'd appreciate if you gave me a like at, the, at your way out. Uh, and also, if you'd like to see more of my videos, it would be great if you could subscribe, if you're not already subscribing to my channel. Um, yeah, and I hope to see you in my next video. Um, have a lovely day or a lovely night, wherever you are, and um, I'm looking forward to, to seeing you again. Okay, <laughs> bye guys!